here, he's got head and arm, I got the pimp arm with the best. The, 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 just the regular old stomp is I don't do this all at once. I'll take my right foot and control this foot so he doesn't pass, and then I'll put this under, and then or, or transition to butterfly. All right? You can do a leg throw, or you could stomp on the back of his ankle, or the new stomp would be just taking this in slow motion. I'm lifting him up. I'm lifting him up with my right butterfly on his ankle. So, the one we just did, bam, or stomp, or, alright, there's three different ways. On the safest way probably is the stomp, the, the slow way there. Well, I, instead of, because he still can't pass with my left leg doing a leg from here. So then I can take my time and there's no window. I can stop this and then do this. Then so controlling that foot, apart from the pass. Or all at once here. Or lift him up here. It's, ne it's never that easy. Sometimes it's a battle for a minute. Because the guy on top, really, if I feel someone putting in a a left butterfly here, I'm going to squeeze, he tries to do it, I'm going to squeeze my knees together. And then it's a battle. But if you have the butterfly in, even if I'm squeezing the knees together, depending on how good his butterflies are, I know, damn, I better turn into him. This butterfly here is going to annoy me. If I turn into him, he can sweep me here. So getting those, nothing annoys me more on top than if someone gets a butterfly on the outside and he knows what he's doing with it, and he knows how to work that over him. Right, so you gotta have that leg, that leg dexterity to swim that under or that butterfly in. Just nice and smooth.